Long enough? Yes. Brilliant. Not really about me, but about all of these organizations that have been making Academy possible this year. Um, please keep it short, three minutes, because um, yes. We all want to get dinner eventually. Uh, so first, uh, Frederick will tell us about the Qt company. Thank you. Hello. Yeah, uh, thank you all for having us. Uh, thanks for letting us uh, do the honor of the keynote. Greetings from Lars and of course the rest of the Qt company. We are a ton of, uh, yeah, KDE users. Not everybody does because we also have these other beautiful platforms to support, but of course KDE is the one we have at our heart. Um, yeah, I'm not going to try to sell you onto Qt because you are sold already, lost your souls, I guess. Um, can you, Mr. DJ? Yeah, awesome. So uh, my proposal is more consider joining us. Uh, we have exciting stuff in the pipeline. Qt 6 is going to be a thing, and I think it's going to be great, and it's the time now. I mean, if you join now, you get to help us break... Uh, binary and also a bit of source compatibility, so that is just going to be an interesting ride. We are getting ready to uh, do the next big release, and let's just hop to the next slide. Join us. So uh, consider joining. Um, I bet you have been pondering moving to Ulu, maybe not, but uh, Oslo and Berlin are awesome. Just let me know. Uh, yeah, it's a fun place to be. Thank you, Frederick. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Well, now Adrian will tell us about uh, Blue Systems. Woo! Hi there, we're Blue Systems, and unlike the cute company, we almost fit in the room here uh, because we've got people there, 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 and there. That's like most of us. And there. Woo. <coughs> Blue Systems sponsors all kinds of interesting things in the KDE ecosystem, um, ranging from Plasma to Kalamatas to random improvements all over the stack. We run CI for KDE Neon. We run uh, CI for Netrunner. I'd like to call out Scarlet in particular for being an awesome person in maintaining code quality. Um, we're not actually hiring right now, but there's lots of projects that happen all the time, and we'd be happy to hear from you. That's it. Thank you. Uh, Igor from Canonical. Thank you. It's actually Igor. Igor would be an Apple product. <laughs> I work for Canonical. I'm a developer advocate, and I have a little story. So there are users and there are developers. But developers are also users. And there's an old Latin proverb, the user of my user is my user. <laughs> and we actually, in Can at Canonical, want to help all of the users. So when you create software, the actual idea and, and the creation is only the first part. There's the distribution and maintenance, and those are the hard bits. So basically, what we're trying to do is just enable you to do your work better. There's no great philosophy behind it. It's just simplicity. Like simple applications, simple life, happiness, and you distribute it. And that's what we're trying to do. Katie is an amazing uh, community. You have loads of great applications and creativity, and just we want to be part of that. Thank you. Then, thank you, Igor. <laughs> now Albert will, te no, Albert will tell us about KDAB. <laughs> Thank you. You know how to pronounce my name. Uh, what a surprise. Okay, so uh, we are KDAB, uh, which is a very short name for a longer name that I don't know how to pronounce. Uh, we do cute development mostly, also some C++ and some 3D. Uh, I've been told we are hiring, so if you are interested in a job, uh, talk to me. I will tell you to other people because I don't do the hiring. But yeah, we also get to work in Qt sometimes. We are collaborating with the CMake port uh, nowadays, so that's a good thing. You get to break things too. Uh, 
and that's it. Uh, I would like you to be my colleague, so submit your applications. Thank you. Thank you, Albert. Uh, Douglas will tell us about OpenSUSE. Yeah, so um, OpenSUSE, you probably know about it, pretty old distribution, uh, great community. We're all about choices. We make a lot of different tools uh, that is uh, helping the ecosystem. We also have our OpenSUSE conference every year in Nuremberg, pretty much, or in Prague. Uh, if you want, please submit a talk for that. I know how uh, difficult it is to, to run a conference. I, I do the OpenSUSE conference, and I want to um, thank the organizers for this conference, and let's uh, knock on wood if you're with me. So it was a great time. Uh, loved being here. Uh, it's just it's an it's a joy just to see everyone from the KDE community come in and just the conversations that take place and the work that you all do. It's great. Uh, Ray from GitLab. Ray. Thank you. Uh, I think I, so my name is Ray, I'm a community manager at GitLab, and I think I mentioned this to a few of you. Um, this is obviously my first academy, but not only that, I've started working with uh, Kitty community folks only two months ago, but I got here yesterday, a couple of hours, I already felt comfortable, so thank you for making me feel welcome. It's nice to be part of a, a volunteer and community-driven uh, conference. Uh, the only plug I'm going to do is for our birds of a fe feather session tomorrow afternoon after lunch. We got we blocked up two hours, uh, so I know s some of you have been kicking the tires on uh, on GitLab. Uh, so if you have any questions about uh, the workflow, uh, the product, or the community, uh, I mean we're like I think in one of the rooms in U1 after lunch. Uh, it's not just going to be me. We have Alessio. He was here earlier. Uh, he had just had to go back to his hotel. Uh, but he's more of a CI, CD, and infrastructure expert, so he'll be able to provide more intelligent answer than me. And we also have a community member that's taking the train from Brescia. Uh, Jacopo, he's one of our core team member. Uh, he can tell you uh, more about what it's like uh, contributing to GitLab as a wider community member. So thank, thanks again. Thank you, Ray. Agustin, tell us about ambition. Okay, um, my name is Agustin Benito. Um, I recently joined a company called Ambition. Ambition is a 100% subsidiary of Daimler, based in Berlin. Uh, about 200 people, a little bit over 200 people, over 40 nationalities, so it's been designed as a very diverse ecosystem. And um, the reason why we are here is because we are taking our first steps towards uh, moving from being open source consumers to open source contributors. And that is a journey that, uh, yeah, I will be as happy when we finish. Uh, that, is a, that is a very interesting and hard journey for uh, every organization and especially for for big corporations and, and, and industrial companies. Um, so in this learning process, um, one of the things that uh, I am very interested on and, and, and ambition also is to learn how community works. Uh, that's the main reason for being here. Um, and why KDE? Well, first of all, uh, we have a a few interesting match. We are a C++ uh, cute house. We do infotainment, we do shells, we do navigation, we do multimedia, we do mobile applications. There are tons of crossroads. And uh, also, we, we are a great place for hosting interns, uh, working students, and this is uh, something that Daimler and Ambition has at by heart. So, the whole idea for us being here is also is trying to explore and learn how we can create a, in the near future a sustainable win-win relation. Uh, so the message is basically thank you for, for hosting us and, uh, for, and let's see if we keep doing our homework. Uh, there will come a time in which we will be ready to basically uh, 
contribute. Thank you. Thank you, Agustin. No, 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 wait. Wait, because you have double homework today. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so Mirko couldn't make it here and asked me to say a few words about OEM. And you will have the luxury to see myself for the very first time ever uh, giving a talk with glasses, which I'm not sure is a very good sign. Um, <laughs> let's see. Uh, as some of you might not know what OEM is, Open Invention Network. Uh, it's basically an organization that brings together uh, companies with their patent pools under a non-aggression uh, agreement. So innovators can do open source without worrying too much about being, um, yeah, having people hostile, hostile people with you, to you. Uh, so um, it's a complementary organization with KDE in that sense, uh, so, and OEM is happy to support Academy because uh, it represents the creative uh, and volunteer driven heart of open source. Um, the OEM work continues behind the scenes as you can see from the um, growing network of licensees, over 300, sorry, 3,000 organizations by now. You probably have heard uh, recent news, uh, like uh, Microsoft uh, joined OEM. Obviously, Microsoft has a huge patent pool. And also, there are more uh, recent news related with XFAT uh, licensing announcement. Uh, with the upcoming, uh, upcoming expansion of OEM coverage, uh, recent KDE libraries and frameworks will be included or updated. And uh, Mirko wanted to make sure that I thank two people in particular, uh, Cornelius Schumacher and Adrian de Groot, um, for preparing the nomination. Thank you. And OEM will continue uh, in their mission to protect open source, including KDE, uh, from patent threats, and uh, we are looking forward for the next Academy. Uh, I would like to, you know, on a more personal note, to thank the uh, organizers for putting together the conference, as my colleague did, in such a record time. Thank you. Thank you very much. And now from, from the university, the Unix MIB group wanted to tell us a few words. Ricardo? Hi, so in the name of the Unix Me people and all the Unix Me volunteers, I uh, want just wanted to thank you very much for being here. It was a pleasure to host you. It is a pleasure, of course, because uh, you are an open source community and we believe and uh, we contribute to open source in the best way we can. And also because the Unix Me group itself is a little bit a son of KDE because it, it started from the wiki to learn community, local community, which is KD project, so it's, a, it's in a way a, a way to pay a tribute to our origins. And um, I wanted to thank uh, in particular the other people who really helped us and did more than half of the job in making this possible. So the Kenny Cole and Kenny Duffus who, whose work has been invaluable for this and the support of the board, uh, in particular Lydia. As you might imagine, uh, this is one event. We're going to have another very big event for our association, which is going to be the Linux Day on the 26th of October. And if you are around, you're more than uh, we'd be more than happy to host you. And um, you can follow our socials for uh, keeping in touch with other events. And if you would like to uh, come and be a speaker, uh, we host regular sessions for uh, with speaking opportunities. Uh, and also uh, to the training students on free and open source technologies. So if you have uh, an application or a framework that you would like to have more students know about and then maybe potentially become contributors, we'd be more than happy to help you set this up at this university. So thank you very much for being here and for all of your energy. Um, thanks, Unix, uh, Mib. There were four sponsors who, well, sponsored the Academy, but couldn't make it here. Uh, Good things, Limbook, Microsoft AI, Pine64. We love you, even though you don't come. Thank you very much.
and as well, thank Private Internet Access for giving us the <laughs> tiny accounts, <laughs> VPN accounts. And well, thanks everyone for coming. That's all about the.